Welcome back. 20 years ago, the Perry High School Band was chosen to play their drums and trombones in the 2000 movie Remember the Titans. And as Sarah Hammond tells us tonight, it all started with a phone call to the band room. On a typical Friday night, you'll find the Perry High School Band in the Panther Pit. But 20 years ago, they were playing for the Titans. Joe Hutchison, the band director at the time, answered their band room phone one day, and it was Disney. Uh, she did not have a title for the t for the movie, but uh, she knew it was about football and Denzel Washington was going to be in it. Well, at that moment, uh, I, w I was sold. From there, the band traveled back and forth from Perry to Atlanta for three weekends to film Remember the Titans, where they played in the stands from 7 p.m. to 5 in the morning. The crazy part is we'd finish at 5 a.m. on Monday, jump on the yellow school buses and make it back to class. William Harden and Jamie Stewart were in the 10th grade when the movie was filmed, and they had to wait a year to see themselves on the big screen. And anytime, you know, we'd see our, ourselves or our friends on the screen, I mean, we just like screamed in the theater. Being able to do that private screening and seeing yourself on the big screen, there's memories like that that like Jamie said, you cherish forever. Now, 20 years later, all three say they didn't realize the lasting impact this movie would have. Because it's one of those timeless movies, um, especially with um, the, the racial comment that we have right now. There's a couple really powerful moments in the movie that, you know, I just I press pause and I'll have a conversation with my kids. We honestly did not know the full story and the, the impact that story uh, would have while we were shooting it. And Hutchison says he's just glad he didn't think that initial phone call was a prank. In Perry, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Yeah, some great memories indeed. Hutchison says while they were filming, Disney was cutting and dyeing his students' hair and changing their clothes to fit that time period. And all three say at the time they were blown away by Disney's ability to transform the set into a 1970s football stadium in just 24 hours.